I'm a big fan of fried fish and I'm a big fan of chips, but together I just find the combination, it's too much, fried and fried. So I'm giving my little take on fish and chips. I'm gonna serve a fresh potato salad instead of chips with the fried fish. I've got boiled potatoes, green beans, just to give it a bit of a veg content. Then I'm gonna add some green pepper. Again, I always try, especially when I'm eating at home, to add extra vegetables into my diet. I've just blanched the potatoes for 15 minutes. They're still warm, so they'll help absorb the dressing. And the beans I put into the pot for the last five minutes. Long slithers of green onion. Next, I'm going to do a dressing for the salad. I've got some mustard seeds. I'm going to add just for a bit of crunch. Toast those for 30 seconds or so. Here we go. <laughs> Literally until they pop. Then I add the juice of one lime, olive oil, turmeric and salt and pepper. Mix it up thoroughly and pour over the potatoes before adding the mustard seeds. And just let that sit for a few minutes, the flavours all go through. For the fish, I'm going to do a little play on that classic batter. I've got some curry powder, which will help do two things. It'll help really colour the batter, a golden, and it'll also give it a wonderful flavour. Add a teaspoon of baking powder. That'll help lighten up the batter. And next, the magic ingredient. Mark's beer. I'm not convinced it should be served warm, but it's a good beer. Don't worry if there's a few bubbles in there. Don't overwork the batter. You don't want to overwork the gluten and the flour, and that'll make a tough batter. You want a light, crispy batter. Beer batter mixed, the pollock can now be coated before frying in oil. I'm going to serve my fish with a mint chutney, a simple blend of tomatoes, mint, green chilli, garlic, lime and olive oil. It's a fresher and lighter alternative to tomato ketchup. And when the batter is beautifully golden, it's ready to plate up. And there we have it, my take on the British classic fish and chips with a potato and turmeric salad and a mint and tomato chutney. That is fantastic. The curry powder doesn't give it a really strong flavour, it just gives it the colour and a very mild spice. And the mint chutney is fresh and light against that crisp batter. Delicious. <laughs>